Hi, so today I'm going to be talking about torso structure exercises. Hi, my name is Luis Escobar. I'm a storyboard artist on The Simpsons Television Show. I've been working on the show for over 25 years now, and I'm here to empower you. So um, a few weeks back, or a few uh, videos back, I was talking about uh, anatomy exercises, how to study anatomy. So what I thought I'd do was to sh start sharing some of the exercises that I tend to do and use um, specifically for people who I'm coaching, right? So um, one of the things that I do when, when I'm coaching somebody is I show them an exercise I would like them to do. Then uh, the, the, the person I'm coaching does the exercise, sends me the exercise, and then I, I go over it uh, showing them um, what they did um, right and what they could work on better, right? That's, that's usually the thing. But the exercise in itself is actually very handy for just about anybody. So without being able to get any feedback back and forth from me, um, I thought I'd share one of the things that I have uh, that, that I tend to have the people that I coach do so that if you are interested in trying to improve on your own without having me uh, critique it, um, it but, but it's a good exercise just to try out for yourself. So um, uh, one of the things that I tend to do is I, I use this book, this, the, the Hampton book on figure drawing and invention. And then I go to page 36. And in page 36... Um, there is a breakdown of these torsos, right? And then there's there's more. And then in, in earlier in the in the book, you see the the exercises here. The, I mean the exercise the, the the breakdown of the torso. Okay, so this I find very useful because a lot of the time when we are working on the structure of a figure, um, we uh, don't think about it in three-dimensional terms and what this page does is it breaks down the torso in three-dimensional terms now uh, the idea here is once you've done a gesture drawing then you do this exercise you do the gesture and then you want to break down your figure into these kinds of three-dimensional shapes okay However, uh, the exercise to help you see the figure in these terms is something I'm going to share now. So this is a video that I took from um, an example that I gave somebody who I coached. Okay, so I'm just grabbing a, a small chunk of a video that I sent as an example to somebody I was coaching. And I'm repurposing it here so that you can see what I t told them. Okay, so you won't hear the person's name or, or anything, but, um, but you will see the information and the exercise. So I'm hoping that this sharing this little bit of video is going to be helpful for you for, 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 for a starting off point, for, for a way that you can study the torso in which, and then, and then in the next, another video I'm going to share is I'm, I'm going to share, share how once you've done this exercise, you could use this exercise and then use a, a different, I think it's Hampton, I'm not, I, I'll have to look, but a different uh, thing to put anatomy on top of that. Okay, so then now you've, you've learned gesture and then you get structure and then you put anatomy on top of that and, and you start wrapping your head around figure drawing and anatomy drawing okay so that's that's the point so this is just a stepping stone for the next video still so that you could understand how anatomy is put on the figure but first you need a foundation a structural foundation to put your anatomy on okay so without any further ado let's go uh, watch the video would be to um, try to find the rib cage shape. Okay. Which is what this is. Try to find the 
hip shape, which is what this is. And now you have the general placement of where you want to put things. Then <clears throat> you follow the, the center line, which includes the center of the pecs down to the belly button. And then, now that you have everything kind of generally placed, which is this kind of thing, then you're looking for, okay, the pecs are doing this, maybe this is doing that. I know that this side has this edge. I know that this these pecs give me a clue as to the direction of the torso. This gives me a huge clue the, these this underwear. Huge clue, raging clue. And then we gotta go here, here. We got the belly. Bottom of the belly. So the circles, what they do is that they give you a gist of where the rib cage is. This circle gives you a gist of the, the location of where you will place the box. And, um, and then you find and then you go in with the bo with, with the um, with the box shapes to find. Uh, and then you have the clues of the belly. We know we have a rib cage here. The rib cage, it's OK to have the rib cage come up and, up and over. But we know that we, we don't want it to go out like this because the rib cage do, isn't doing that. The rib cage stays inside the body, okay? So maybe we want to relax that line. So we want to just kind of keep it inside the body. Never mind what I said before. We don't want to, and this is not the rib cage, by the way, this is a muscle. But we want a general shape here anyway. And then we have this area, maybe here, a little bit higher. So let me. Again, the problem is that he's wearing baggy pants. We can't really see where his crotch actually is because this is this this might be even further down. And it was probably not the best drawing. I'll have to find a better one. I mean, a photo. But okay, and then we have this center line here, right between the pecs down to the belly button. Boom. And then we can. We can kind of see the, the pecs here kind of give us a s small clue as to what direction we're going for, but definitely the collarbone. Right about here, where right behind the nipple, like this corner, this pec meets this side of the pec here. This is a good place to put a corner. This can be up or down. I don't think there is a precise, perfect um, uh, decision here because it's very vague. 
Okay, so and then here we have this belly. It's very, very clear. It comes down in here, so you could see that part of the belly. And that kind of gives you a bit of a clue as to where we want this. Again, this is kind of messed up because I can't, because he's wearing pants. So, best guess. So next time I'll, I'll see if I can't find some ballet dancers that are wearing something really tight. There we go.